All right, guys, we're down here at the jetties, bouncing a jig. It's pretty windy. I doubt we're gonna catch anything, but now we're gonna see if we can find us some mud crabs. Is the plan? Whoa, they're everywhere! Oh my god! I got, I got four of them too. My gosh, this is like crab heaven over here. They're everywhere. Two. Oh, oh, look at those. Get them, get them, get them, get them. I'm gonna get pinched. Oh my gosh. Look at all the crabs. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, guys, quick update. Uh, yeah, I haven't even shown my smiling face in this video. We've been bouncing around from spot to pot spot five hours today and we've only caught one mangrove snapper oh amy you could get 20 of them in a cast net or more if you wanted a bunch of mullet amy's second fish oh it's a lane snapper a lane yeah Do a little bit of snook fishing tonight. Got some live shrimp. All right, guys, we have got some really big live shrimp in here. I mean, I'm talking some megalodons. Let me find one. There's one right there. Look at the size of that shrimp. Oh, baby. Are you kidding me? <laughs> it's got a five aught circle hook, 80 pound test leader, 50 pound test braid on my big rod. And I'm gonna hook this guy. There's a black spot. I'm gonna hook him right in front of the back black spot from underneath. I'm gonna bring it right straight out through the top of his head, right in the middle. Well, I just, I just heard a snook pop over there. Just like that. Brought that hook right out through the middle. All right, let's see if we can get a snook. There he is, there he is, there he is. That's a good one, that's a good one. That's a good one. Fish on. Fish on. Smack that shrimp, baby. Smack that shrimp. There he is. So I, I lightened up my leader. I switched over to my light rod. It's got 40 pound test leader. Nice. Nice. I don't know. He's about 22, maybe. All right, buddy. Thanks for the catch. <laughs> nice. I've been here about 15 minutes. I switched over to my lighter rod. I threw that bigger rod for a while. The hook is really heavy. The shrimp kept sinking and getting hung on the bottom. I switched over to 20 pound test, 40 pound leader with a one odd hook. Bam. First cast. Gotcha. We're all frayed up right there, you can see. Let's do a retie. Caught that guy on a one aught octopus hook. You can see there's got a little bend at the eye, and also where the barb of the hook is, it's got a little twist. All right, guys, it is 1040. I just caught that snook. Hadn't been here 20 minutes. Nice. Let's get back on it. All right, guys, so I broke off on a piling, doing some re rigging here. Using 40 pound test trilene monofilament, 20 pound test braid. I'm just gonna tie this on real quick with a uni to uni. I fish this with no weight at all. I just free line these shrimp in the current. Anytime I, just about any time I fish with shrimp for snook, it's always free line. Cause you know, a shrimp just floats through the current naturally. If you have not seen my video, of the snook zone i'll put a link in this video you can go check that out that'll show you exactly where the snook like to hang out around bridges there he is there he is there he is fish on fish on another little guy we got him Got him on the shrimp. Oh, God. Get in that net. There you go. Snook number two. Another little one, about 22 inches. Hitting them live shrimp tonight. Nice, baby, nice. Thanks for the catch. 
All right, it is 1119, baby, so wait. Nice, I didn't even feel that guy hit it, man. I was pulling back, I was getting ready to reel it in, I was just pulling back on my rod and I felt it go whoop, whoop, so wait. So guys, it's like 55 degrees out here tonight. If this temperature keeps dropping, we're going to the river tomorrow night, I guarantee it, baby. Now that's a freaking hand pick. So they are piled up in here, obviously. I'm catching them every cast. Every cast. <laughs> yeah, I'm not keeping count. Killing them, baby. Killing them. Tank. Big old snook. Now he knows he's freaking hooked. Nice snook, you guys. Really nice snook. <laughs> Alright guys, we're back out here again. I brought my cast net tonight. I saw some mullet last night. I didn't have my cast net with me. I got a cooler with some water in it. I just refreshed my shrimp over here. I've been keeping them alive for about three days now. They are doing really good. And uh, yeah, it is 1024. Monster freaking shrimp. Nice. All right, guys, I'm calling it for tonight. All right, guys, it's the next day. I want to go over some of the things that I do with my leftover shrimp. This is an aerator for an aquarium. I paid about $14 for that at Amazon. I keep shrimp alive for days and days and days. I made a video of how to do that. But last night when I was fishing, I changed the water on these shrimp. I need to change them again. But these guys are still kicking really good, nice and lively in there. Yeah, you can keep shrimp alive for a long time. So get you a, uh, get you an aquarium aerator for about 14 bucks it'll save you a lot of money from getting the d-sized batteries for these little aerators right here so another thing i do with my leftover shrimp put them in ziploc bags and freeze them i use those for whiting or for catching pinfish and also you guys i i use the frozen shrimp for shrimp are way too expensive to throw away i got this little food processor from walmart i think i paid about 10 12 dollars for it so i'll take the frozen shrimp Put them inside of this food processor. Put a little bit of water in there. Once you get the lid locked in place, give this button a push. And it blends that stuff up really good, just like you're making a milkshake. And then we can make our own chum with this stuff, our own chum blocks or whatever. I have a couple videos on how to make pen fist chum and, and how to make chum blocks. I'll put links here in this video for those. So I just finished chopping up all those shrimp and uh, look at that i mean that that's about five pounds that's just shrimp a little bit of squid stuff but that's just all shrimp smoothie right there i haven't mixed any oatmeal or anything in with it and uh just leftover shrimp from from fishing trips you know i don't know how much it is to get a chum block but i guarantee you it will not be like pure shrimp no <laughs> Four dollars, four fifty a dozen for shrimp, guys. Put them in the freezer. Use them for penfish bait. Make chum out of them. Eat them or keep them alive. I'll put links in the description area. I have videos for doing all of those things with shrimp. Really, it's like taking a ten dollar or twenty dollar bill out of your wallet and throwing it in the water every time that you release your shrimp into the water. Yeah, make good use of your money, guys. Save your shrimp. All right, guys. Night number three. Here we go. Been keeping these shrimp alive for four days now. This is a freaking little snapper. What? Are you kidding? I don't want a little snapper. I want a snook. See, my third night that I've switched out the water on these shrimp. Still got some good ones in there. You can keep your bait alive for days and days. You just keep switching out the water every day. We got about 20 shrimp now. All right. I had to do some re-rigging. We're going to go to a different spot. <laughs> oh. Oh my gosh, it's 1130. I'm thinking about going to the river. It's windy. It's going to be an outgoing tide. It's been cold the last two nights. The snook are probably piled up on the seawall. Only got about 20 shrimp though. Should I do it? I mean, you guys are all cozy and warm sitting by the fireplace drinking hot chocolate. You're probably asleep, snuggled up with your wife or your girlfriend or your boyfriend or your husband. And JC sitting out here 1130 at night trying to decide if he should keep fishing until four or five in the morning just to make a flipping YouTube video for you guys to watch. I don't know, man. It sounds inviting. Just go home, turn on the heat, lay down and watch a movie. But. I didn't get to like 46,000 subscribers by doing that. No, 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 no. Are you kidding? Who am I kidding? We're going fishing. It's a little after 12. I just got down here to this little bridge. 
Fish are popping like popcorn. Oh my god. <laughs> I just lost a good one. Let's get out of here. Up we go. Alright guys, just got down to the bridge. There's a big school of mullet. Hopefully we got some bait sized. Holy freaking smokes. We didn't get any bait sized ones. But we got some eaters. Oh my god. Look at the size of these mullet, man. Whew. Need some good eating there. <laughs> no bait size, but we got some eaters. Let me see if I can catch a snook. Hopefully I didn't spook them all away trying to catch a mullet. One o'clock in the morning. All right, guys. I got us a bait, a bait size mullet. All right, guys. We had to get some ice for the mullet because we're going to fish. I don't want these mullet to go bad. I'm gonna get another bag for these guys. We got this mullet in here that we're gonna go back and use for bait. All right guys, got us a second bag of ice. Top this mullet off good. That'll keep them until tomorrow, until it's time to clean them. All right, let's go catch a snook. Now you gotta match your hook to your bait. That mullet is giant. Seven on J hook. Big hooks for big fish. All right, up through the top of the lip. A hard part of his mouth just like that all right we are ready time check two o'clock it is 3 11. i'm going to change rigs no hits on this big live mullet we tried a really big bait so we're going to make that big bait a smaller bait now we got a two ounce sinker now i'm pretty sure somewhere in here among all of this fishing mess in my trunk We've got a knife, and I think it's on this side. There it is. You hear about people using ladyfish heads for bait? We're about to use a mullet head for bait right now. All right, guys, so I got no hits on the mullet head, but that big school of mullet just came right by the seawall, so I'm going to grab my cast net again. I got a buddy of mine that wants to smoke some mullet. Crazy story, guys. I've been standing up here for an hour waiting for these mullet to come back. They just disappeared. I wrapped my net completely up, getting ready to leave. I turned around and looked behind me, and the school of mullet had come back. So, we got two more keepers. Freaking four o'clock in the morning. That's just crazy. All right, so you guys know I don't normally buy ice, but tonight we bought two bags and we just got a third bag because we got so much fish in here. We got to make sure these guys stay cold. So thanks to my Patreon supporters for helping. Dude, in a freaking grocery store parking lot, the dude almost slammed me. Oh my gosh. some energy we've been having some long nights hey siri open spotify good old journey going down to another day Ooh. 